guys, it's Lily. Welcome back to my channel or to my channel if you're new here. So I'm going to be doing another vlog for you guys. I just woke up. Actually, I didn't just wake up. It's been a little over an hour since I woke up. I went downstairs, had breakfast, had some coffee, and I'm upstairs. It's like 10.15 right now, and I'm going to be vlogging for you guys today. I want to try and have a pretty productive day, and I'm hoping that vlogging will help me be productive. I have been feeling in a very weird funk recently, probably like just within the last week. I just have felt so unmotivated to do things besides just working out and that's pretty much it like I'll get up in the morning and work out and then the rest of the day just kind of goes downhill and I don't know I just haven't been reading the book that I've been enjoying I have been getting my homework done at the last minute I don't know I just have not been motivated and there's nothing specific it's obviously just the stuff that's going on right now is just really hard and I like kind of have come to terms with it but I don't know I just have felt very off the past week and I don't know why and it really stinks but I'm going to try and make today a better day. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, I'm sure some of you guys can relate to that. I was gonna go out for a long walk this morning to start off my workout instead of running because I don't want to be running too much. Um, but it's literally like 45 degrees right now. Yeah, 45 degrees right now. I don't know why, but this week has been pretty cold and it's gonna warm up a little bit later in the day. So I was kind of thinking maybe I would just do an at-home workout like I normally do after my runs and then go on a walk later this afternoon just to like get some steps in and be outside. But that's what's gonna happen. I also have some schoolwork I need to do. I have an art assignment that's due tomorrow. It's just like a discussion post. And I have some other really big assignment for public health that I have not even started yet that's due Friday. I don't know how long it's gonna take me, but I need to look at that today. Those are like the big assignments I need to focus on to get done by the end of this week. It's Wednesday right now, and then also tonight, eight o'clock, me and a group of my friends are gonna do that Netflix house party thing that I did a couple weeks ago, kind of when it all first started. We just all like watch the same movie on Netflix and we can like talk about it on Netflix. It's a really cool feature. I'll show it to you guys when I do it, but those are like the main things I need to get done today. I need to spend some time in the Word. I've been so just like not good about reading my Bible and just getting really deep into it. I I don't know, I just have felt so off, so I really don't even know how to explain it, but. One thing that has been motivating is writing out a to-do list, um, and I don't necessarily have to get everything done, but just to kind of give me an idea of what I need to do, so this is my to-do list for today. Okay, so I have just been sitting here kind of looking at the assignment that I was talking about for public health because I hadn't really looked at it yet and it's due Friday at 11 p.m. So if you guys watched my last vlog, I kind of was explaining a little bit what I was doing for that class. Basically, we were supposed to um, like work in the field, basically like go to, we had like a public, a current public health issue that we all like picked out and then we were supposed to go out into the community and serve at some sort of organization something like that that related to our public health issue mine was like basically just like proper food consumption and like just nutrition overall proper nutrition maintaining healthy weights for the average person and just like living a healthy lifestyle when it comes to like activity and like i said like getting nutritious foods in i'm very passionate about that like that is what i want to do with this major is something related to nutrition um so I had a really easy like service that I was gonna do. I was literally gonna do our like wellness center at our school. So there's like a wellness center where they have like cooking demos and like a ton of different classes that you can take to like learn about nutrition and stuff. It's just a huge organization. So that was like obviously really good and easy for me to do. So basically I guess what she wants us to do, I don't know if she wants us in essay form because one time I wrote something in an essay form and then she was like mad at me because it was supposed to be like a bulleted points and I was like what the heck so I need to figure that out but it says it has to be three full pages but these like topics are really easy like I feel like I can do this pretty easily it's more of like a research uh, project now because obviously we can't go into the field originally it was going to be like we would get some points out of this 100 points for volunteering and then some points for presenting but now it's just obviously a paper so I kind of just have to like obviously do research on the wellness center at my school and just be able to answer all these questions so I'm gonna like ask one of my friends in the class if they know whether we should do it in essay form or not 
but I don't think that'll be hard at all to write. I think that's gonna be pretty easy, so. And I'm probably going to, I put some leggings on, but I think, so I follow, if you guys follow Lauren Snyder on YouTube, she created like a, um, an Instagram for like health and wellness and like workouts and stuff like that and she's doing a live stream workout at 11 o'clock and it says that it's just a hit workout which is kind of what I wanted to do so I might wait until 11 and tune into that and do that because workouts that are like class type of vibes right now are really what's like motivating me like all the mad fit videos i'm doing the workout with her which is a lot more motivating than just like going through instagram and reading the slides and doing them as i go i just feel like i'm not going to be as motivated to keep up and like challenge myself so i'm going to tune into her live stream and if i like it i will do that whole workout Okay guys, so I just finished my workout. It was kind of a little bit all over the place at first. I did Lauren's um, live stream. It was like a hit full body kind of thing. And I did pretty much the whole thing. It was like a little bit less than 25 minutes, so it wasn't super long. So then I went on Janine Amapola, if you guys know her, she's a YouTuber. I went on her Instagram because I saw that she did a live stream workout yesterday with, I don't know who it was, some sort of fitness influencer. So they had the workout saved for 24 hours, so it was still up there. And it was a cardio, abs, and booty workout, so I did that, and that was so good. So it took my workout up to like a little bit over an hour. And that one was like super challenging and I really liked it. So I'm super glad that I found that. And I followed that one like all the way through. I did all those movements and it was really good. So I just finished and I just kind of like washed my face and freshened up because I'm not going to take a shower yet because I'm going to go on a walk later like I said. So I'm probably going to head downstairs in a few minutes and make some lunch. And then once I eat, I will start on my homework. All right, we have a very ripe avocado in here that needs to get eaten. So I'm going to cut this open. Hopefully it's still good. It's pretty soft, but I put it in the fridge so that it would like slow the ripening. So I'm going to make some avocado toast with this. Okay, so I just did my, um, what is it called, discussion post for my art class. This is like an online class, so I had to like answer this question, and then I had to reply to someone else's also, and we have like an online textbook, which I just used to get the information, so that made it pretty easy. It took me like not even 15 minutes, maybe a little bit less than and now i'm going to start on the public health assignment still not sure if i'm supposed to write this in an essay form or not i mean like you would think normally yes you would except for the fact that i did it once and she told me that i was not supposed to do it that way like she wanted it to be bulleted like heading with bullets i'm probably just gonna like do like a sketch of what i want to do like an outline of what i think i'm gonna write and do some research for my um service that I was going to originally be doing and yeah I'm feeling really tired all of a sudden it's kind of hitting me that midday slump it's like two o'clock so I might go make some coffee in a minute but I'm gonna work on that for a little bit I'm glad that I got some things done you know when you just have like those little assignments that you just need to get done they're not even hard but you just know that they need to be done that's kind of what I'm working on right now so 
proud of myself for actually doing something because I have not been very productive the past few days and that's okay I think it's okay to have those days where you just don't feel yourself you feel off and especially in this time it's definitely valid so if you're feeling the same way know that you're not the only one and don't beat yourself up about it Okay, so it's a little after three now. I have been working on this for a little bit and I'm going to stop, I think, for the day. I did like almost all of it. It has to be three pages and there's like different sections. It's not an essay format, so it's like bulleted or like I list the heading that was on the rubric and then underneath it describe it. And so I did all of them. The last one that I have to do is like a reflection of what I learned from the organization and how I can use it to like become a public health educator, I guess but I just have to fill up this space with it. And then if I don't get enough written down when I go back and fill that in, I'll just kind of like add some fluff into this to reach three pages. But I think I'm just gonna do this part tomorrow so I can have like a fresh mind and not feel like I'm just trying to rush through it. And then I'll submit it tomorrow and it's not due until Friday. So I will definitely be able to finish it tomorrow and get that done. So I think that's all the schoolwork I'm gonna do for the day. I worked on it for like a little bit less than two hours or so. So really proud of myself for that. So I just closed it, but I just did my Bible study. Um, I'm doing a Bible study with some of my friends. We were reading through Philippians. So we do like a chapter a week and we meet Friday mornings. We like do a little Zoom call. So I just did chapter three. I just kind of like read it and outlined some stuff. And then I wrote in my journal just kind of like some points um, that I got from it based off like certain scripture and then just like what was being said in it so oh wait it's just these two pages so i just kind of did this and then i'll probably go back through it tomorrow and write down some more thoughts that i have and then obviously when we meet friday i'll write down anything else that i think is important and i really like doing this i think it's really fun it's a good way to get in the word and also keep yourself accountable with your friends so i love it so much and i'm so glad we decided to do it but it's a little after four. I think I'm going to go make a snack. I'm probably just going to get like a yogurt bowl with some fruit or something and just chill out for a little bit and honestly just like watch some YouTube or something and relax because I'm feeling very tired. I think I'm going to go on my walk after dinner and then I will come back and shower and stuff before eight so we can watch the movie. We're watching The Roommate. I have never heard of it but it's on Netflix and they were saying that it looked good and I just looked at it and it looks like it's a pretty intense movie. So it's kind of like, I don't think it's like horror, but I think it's just like suspense. So I'm kind of excited because I like movies like that. So I'm going to watch that around 8. So yeah, that's kind of the plan. I'm just laying in bed right now. So this is basically what I have for breakfast. But here's my fruit bowl. Got banana, blueberries, granola, and strawberry cheesecake yogurt. That's kind of why I, got, I decided to have this as my snack. Because I got strawberry cheesecake yogurt yesterday. And it's so good. You can't even see the yogurt, but it's under there. It's so yummy, so I'm going to eat this for a little afternoon snack. All right, for dinner we have a lot of sandwich, like deli meat, so I'm going to make one of my wraps. I like, um, what are they called? Spinach wraps. It's a quick dinner, literally like, <laughs> it's funny because I have so much more time to like make things if I wanted to, but I just am taking the easy route because I'm just not motivated to cook like extravagant things like i follow people on instagram that are like making or baking not necessarily cooking but baking like a ton of cool things and i'm like saving them because i want to try it sometime but i just have yet to like take time to do that but i need to start doing that because it'd be like a fun activity to do but i'm gonna go make that for dinner got the fit changed for a walk it's like 58 degrees out and I just wanted to wear a hoodie, so put on this hoodie, change into some leggings. It's almost seven o'clock. We're gonna go on just a short walk around the neighborhood, and then I'm gonna come back and rinse off and shower. I love this hoodie so much, and I wanted to get um, Gals on the Go drops new merch today, and they had like a tie-dye, a pink tie-dye hoodie that said Gals on the Go on the back, and I really wanted to get it, but I saw that it was $60, and I was like, I don't know. And by the time I had a chance to think about it again, they were sold out, so there's that. Emma's coming on the walk with us. I think she's. Are you gonna ride the pony board? Yeah. We have like a pony board that she's been riding recently, so she's gonna go. I might film you, but. You um, should. But I'm just gonna film my phone I if I do because I'm not bringing my camera with me.
Okay guys, so it is the next day. I didn't end up finishing off the vlog last night. I watched that movie, we watched The Roommate, and it was a super weird movie, honestly. Could have gone without seeing it. It was just really messed up, honestly. It was like interesting and kept me interested the whole time, which is kind of hard for me because I don't really watch a ton of movies. It's hard for me to like stay still and watch a whole movie. But I stayed still for that one. It was really intense. But I'm going to go ahead and end off the vlog. I know this was kind of an all over the place vlog. I was in a really weird mood yesterday. And honestly, I thought about just like stopping the vlog and just like starting a new one when I felt better. But I just wanted to like be honest with you guys. And like obviously people are going to have better days during this time. People are going to have days that aren't as good. It really, it, every day is a new day. And... I think it's okay to have those days and I've just been in a weird funk lately and no reason other than just the circumstances of the world right now and I know that hopefully and I know that some of you guys can probably relate to that so I just wanted you guys to know that you're not the only ones obviously out here struggling so I'm about to go on a run and just hopefully have a lot better of a day today than I did yesterday thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and if you enjoyed it make sure that you thumbs it up and subscribe down below and I'll see you in my next video bye guys